If you missed out the cinema back in May, you can now own it on DVD or Blu-ray as of today. Our review of Pirates of the Caribbean 5 coming up on Reviews Rehashed. Pirates had infected the seas for generations. So I vowed to eliminate them all. And then, there was this boy. Jack Sparrow. Follow him in! He took everything from me. And filled me with... Rage. So it's Thursday, I've just gotten in from seeing Pirates of the Caribbean number five. I went up to the old in the Switch Island to go and see this. This place where they got free parking, they got a Costa. I had I sat there with my big, big Costa. I think it was a mint chocolate chip cooler I had. It was a big Costa anyway, very nice. So like I said, the Odin the Switch Island has the free parking. Not a great idea if you've got a boat, you can't really bring your boat. So, but if you've got a car or even if you're walking, you can still go and see Pirates of the Caribbean at the Odin Switch Island. So the new Pirates of the Caribbean film, like Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean, doesn't matter where you're from, it's still the same film. To be honest, I don't even know if the film itself knows its name because it's, I've seen it called uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Salazar's Revenge or Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Well, which one is it? I think it's one title in the UK, I think it's one in the US, I really don't know, but anyway, this Pirates of the Caribbean or Pirates of the Caribbean film doesn't know its own title. So which one is it, Disney? But anyway, for now, we'll just call it Pirates of the Caribbean number five. So going back to the first one, I've seen the first one. I don't know if I've seen the second one or not, I really can't remember. Um, I haven't seen the third one. I haven't seen the fourth one, but I've definitely seen the fifth one. But I suppose the question is, does it matter that I've not seen the middle ones? Well, no, not really. So, okay, I'm going to read the, the plot aligned to you very quickly. It says, Captain Jack Sparrow searches for the Trident of Poseidon. All right, we got that. All right, so based on that, do you think you need to go and see the other films before you see this one? Not really, because it's... You can pick it up from where it's left off. I think it kind of fills in all the details. This happens, I didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one before I saw the second one. That seemed to work, and it seems the same with this one. I think when there's any kind of sequel these days, they do try and make it so like the new viewer can watch it and just not be lost in it. Obviously, as expected, there's a lot of references to the other films, but they're not so extreme where you're thinking, oh no, I wish I'd just spent my life watching Pirates of the Caribbean's films. I think the one thing I can say about this film is that it's, it is just, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. You know what you're gonna get, it's, it's it's going to be fun, it's going to be adventurous, it's going to be, it's going to be spectacular looking. And at two hours long, I found that it never, it never really dipped. You didn't get bored for any of it. It was very, the pace was amazing. It was up and down constantly. There's no flat bits throughout. There's a lot of humor in there, not just for kids. It's just, it's for adults too. I mean, there's a lot of things that kids won't get, which is like adults would just be like, uh -huh, yeah, I know what that really means. The only thing that really shocked me a bit, that it's a very opening sequence where this kid just ties he ties some, he gets this like big bag of rocks. I don't, I don't want to give too much, it's not really giving too much away, don't worry. But this kid like gets this big bag of rocks and he ties his, ties it to his feet and throws himself in the water, into the ocean. And I'm thinking that's probably not a good thing to show kids in a film. It's not, I could be wrong, obviously it's passed all the classification uh, board and everything like that, so I'm guessing it's okay, but it's not really, I don't think it's a good thing to show kids tying your feet to rocks and just throwing yourself in the ocean, because what, this, what the character ends up with in the ocean, it's, that's not gonna happen in real life. In real life, you're just gonna go straight to the bottom and you're gonna stay there. Other than that though, it is two hours of fun. Obviously, everyone knows the character Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp does it well again, but then every single other character does it really well as well. Is it Javier Bardem? I think that's his name. He's really good as the bad guy. It was just two hours of fun. It was spectacular looking. I only saw it in 2D on, on a fairly small screen, but I do think if you're going to see it, I think you need to go and see it on maybe on the bigger screen. The screen maybe in 3D as well. But I think in time for half term, the kids are going to love this one. And I think the adults are going to love it as well. I'm an adult, I think. And I enjoyed myself watching it for the whole two hours. I loved it. I absolutely did love it. I'm so sorry. Were you still talking? You were paying for what you did to me. are looking for Jack, so I'm going to swim for it. Karina, stop that. No, 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 don't stop that. This has gone far enough. No, it has not. I saw her ankles. You'd have seen a lot more if you kept your cake holes shut. So if you like the look at that, you can now purchase it from Amazon using the links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching Reviews Rehashed. Mm -hmm.